So hi there, my name is Jefferson. And what I do is I am an employability tutor and I help run a food bank. So where I'm from, I'm Nigerian, no 419, Nigerian. So that's where I'm from. So the way that I'm making an impact in both my workplace as well as my community. So with my workplace, my current job is an employability tutor. So what that is, is I'm helping those that have been unemployed for a while to first and foremost help them to write their CV, their cover letters, build their confidence, um, identify their transferable skills, what they're capable of doing, as well as to prepare them for interviews and job searching as well. And it spirals off into different aspects of what is needed for someone to get back into work, even if it's to actually set up their own business as well. And then my second thing is I help to run a food bank. Now, as we know, the cost of living has gone up. And um, with this food bank, it's been running since actually just at the tail end of them when we were just coming out of the um, out of the pandemic. So what this food bank has been doing is been providing those within the ones of community an opportunity just to be able to like, alleviate some of the heavier costs by just providing them with some foods. Um, the thing that I love, I love and I love, and I'll say it four more times if I have to, about black culture is just the simple fact is wherever black people are, regardless of your skin tone, wherever you are in the world, if you're African, if you're Caribbean, if you're even from another part of the world, it's a simple fact that the culture, you always come together and we always have that. There's always a vibe and there's always a, a funny moment. There's always something positive that's happening. And it's always something that, one thing that I've always realized when black people come together, stories will be made one way or another. There will always be a story that will come out of it. So the one thing I love about living in Wandsworth is that Wandsworth is very diverse. I've gone to secondary school in Wandsworth, I've gone to college in Wandsworth, and the fact of the matter, I've always seen that diversity. So you could see anyone from any different background, once they get the mindset and the understanding of what Wandsworth's about, they all come together and it's a oneness. And so I think that's the one thing I love about living and working in Wandsworth because it gives that best way to say that homogeny of how things are and how Wandsworth is just a place to be. So Black History Month, funny enough, is in the month of my birth. So, so that's one thing already. But the thing that it means to me is just a recognition and to remember. Reason why I say to recognize is first and foremost, with Black History Month, as the time has gone on from the first time it's been introduced to currently, you've seen an evolution of the more of the black intellect. And what I mean the black intellect is that people are now starting to understand the impact that the wider community of black people have had on the world in general. And Black History Month is something that I don't believe is just exclusively for October, but it's just an opportunity for those that maybe who who've heard a lot about black culture, but they're just not sure how to get involved or even black history, but they're just not sure. And this month just highlights it so they can learn a bit more. And then from there, from the rest of the year, so from November, December, January, all the way back up to October, they have the opportunity to really understand what black culture, black history, as well as black excellence looks like. Two things. Two things. So first thing, you cannot change who you are. And what I mean by that, if whatever heritage you are from, if you're African, Caribbean, um, Hispanic, whatever, whatever part you are, you can't change who you are. That's part of who you are. And the one thing is just remember, there's always two sides to every coin. So you'll get the good side and you'll get the bad side. If people keep telling you, for example, I'm Nigerian, people keep telling me 419, 419, 419, Nollywood, Nollywood, Nollywood. I've heard that for many, many years. But the simple fact is, but if we look at it from the other side, we've got so much things that have come out of it from music, from culture, from attitudes, from mannerisms, even people are even embracing the Nigerian culture. So that's why I always say, look at the two sides. If you know the bad, don't let the bad um, just make you ignorant to the good. So I'll definitely say those are the things that I'll say to embrace and enjoy your culture.